Hello everyone, my name is Rod Zimmer and this is my 100 baby challenge house renovation. And, um, well, I did not build this house. I get this house, uh, most of my homes from this person on the, the Sims 3 resource. She makes such nice homes. I always like up in the down bar. But I am just renovating it for our needs here. So I will go into it later. I did not build it. I just, most of the stuff here, I mean, some of the stuff I kept, some of it, um, maybe, nah, I don't know, but, um, we saved a lot of money doing, s keeping, like, our, our bigger things that we spent already, and just kind of recoloring them, because you could do that in The Sims 3, you know, it's like the shit, so, like, here, I just took that whole, uh, kind of dining room table out, and I just replaced it with our own dining, our old dining room set, and just recolored it, and you know, freaking brand new. Uh, the goal for this house was kind of to be a little bit more colorful and lively, because I don't know that old house was like black and white, and really, you know, it was beautiful. I loved it, but uh, for the most part, it was not colorful and nice. And I kind of tried to make it a little bit more homely. Um, you know, I, I really like the way the kitchen looks. It's a lot more spacious, I, uh, like it wasn't before. Here I'm just putting in our all-in-one bathrooms that we have collected over the years. And, you know, just putting in our fire alarms and sinks and stuff. Because we need that. Uh, taking out some of these curtains, trying to figure this out. I d ended up taking out that little breakfast nook thing. But I put something there eventually. So I really like the way the kitchen looks. And now the living room is like my favorite part of the whole house. I love it. Uh, here I'm just getting some lights in because it was dark as fuck. And uh, it's really light and happy, this living room. It's got like a whitish couch, I think, with blue pillows, I believe. And um, it's so it's so nice and so happy I wanted to give a lot of room so we can like watch TV and stuff the whole all the kids and I love it I think it's amazing I got these CC little things and I freaking love them there you'll see them upstairs but I love the way these couches are they're so like homely and com they look so comfortable and uh, we get this really nice TV and I just think it's so pretty. Look how nice that is. I love it. Oh, I love it. I think it's so cute. So we're just adding in some stereos and accents. I wanted to really go in and decorate the house nicely. I most part didn't decorate the old home. I just kind of went for it and made it ours. But I kind of wanted to make this, you know, a homely, more homely house. And I got some new custom content pictures which I love that picture it's from the sims resource all my uh, furnishing is from the sims resource for the most part uh, if you ever want to know I put a little desk there and I try to figure out like what I wanted to put there but um I don't know we just stuck it on with some miscellaneous crap you know the usual just to kind of decorate but I love that painting it's really nice and then I found these little bow uh, bow pillows, which I thought was really nice and fit right on the desk, so, sounds good, right? I was trying to find something to fill that up with, but I never did. Then I found this custom content, uh, cake thing that I freaking love, so I had to make more room just to put that on there, of course. And, um, I'm just trying to find some stuff that I had in the inventory, and I couldn't place a lot of things on that table, because it's a desk, it's not like a... A, a coffee table or anything but I'm putting in our fire alarms and not our fire alarms but our burglar alarms and some rugs just to make it a little bit more cozy and I literally love it so much got some inspirational posters on the side you know I love it oh it's so pretty I'm obsessed with it it's like nothing special but something so special I love it but that, I think, is the most part for the downstairs. I'm just kind of adding some finishing touches. And I just love decorating in The Sims. It only took me about an hour to renovate this house. This is on 4, 
4x speed but now I'm going upstairs and I tried to make this little um I guess not really a foyer but it's kind of you know I don't know uh, a, a study room or just a place where we can put our laptops and stuff and our book sha- bookcases but really I just failed miserably at it I think I end in the end scratched the whole thing I didn't like the way it looked it looked really cluttered and I didn't I don't know, I wasn't digging it. I tried a lot of things to do, but, you know, it didn't work out so well. So, I, you know, I tried everything here. I even had my sectional, I put in some sectional couches, which, from the Auras guys, which I love, but never end up using. I, I just wanted to, a place to put our computers, but without it being a bit cluttered, and... I love the house. See, like the sectionals look really nice there, but I didn't know what to do with it. This whole thing is like nothing, but it's all right. Just kind of going through my mind on what I should do because I didn't have a extra room. It has four bedrooms. This house, and we have four bedrooms. You know, we have a baby room, her room. You know, there's just nothing we could do but you know there's always time in the end and this house did not cost us it cost us like I think thirty thousand dollars we still have seventy thousand in the bank after this house is done so literally it was nothing but I like it better I think it's a bit bigger more homelier I didn't like the black and white scheme before, and, you know, we have money if we want to do something outrageous or something, but we're just about, I guess, finishing up not finishing this room, because I scratched the whole thing. (laughs) I was trying to make it colorful and pretty, and it just wasn't working with that. Ugh. This is a rough time. There I go. Just undoing everything. (laughs) But this is, like, my favorite room of the house. This is going to be the girls' bedroom. And I wanted to give boy-girl bedrooms now because I didn't have that before because we didn't have space. But um, now, since we don't really need a computer room, we don't really need money. So I'm not really stressing the money issues now, you know. So this bedroom is beautiful. I think it's so, like, pretty. I love decorating girls' rooms. Uh, The boys' room is not, you know, as as good as the girls' room, in my opinion. Uh, the house is, like, really weird. It's not boxy. It, I mean, I don't know. But I, I needed room. I didn't have enough room. But, uh, there's enough room if I had needed to put in another bunk bed, which I probably will. But I'm putting in, like, this little sitting area for the girls. They can read. So I kind of wanted to put laptops and stuff in their bedroom so we don't really need a little, a little, like study room so I'm just decorating the bedroom here and putting in some easels and another bookcase a white bookcase but I love those little like Moroccan chairs (coughs) excuse me but I ended up extending the room one thing over because it was just not big enough because I don't know it just wasn't big enough and bunk beds take up space they do not, not a lot, but they definitely do take up some space. So, we don't end up keeping that bunk bed, but we have it in there if we ever need the room for it. Oh, it's all it's all Gucci. And I'm just changing up the covers of this, because who wants gray covers? It was just not cute, you know, not cute at all. And that took me, you know, five minutes out of my time, put in some doors, and, oh, I put in another little bed with our laptops yeah so that is the girls room for the most part I think it's beautiful I love those chairs I'm going to use them and everything um I think that's it I just put up some wall decorations another CC thing I found which I loved and here is more insanity you know I took everything out and I had to save because I did not want to lose everything which would have been a rough time but I was just trying to figure out how I can make a desk room with a baby room 
and it was just you know it wasn't working the baby room would be way too small even though the baby room doesn't have to be big anyway it was still you know I don't know we were just trying to figure out what to do <laughs> like I'm undoing everything you know that's my thing I just undo everything you know um so I don't really know what I'm doing right here yeah just I don't know making it somewhat more appealing because I wanted to make that the baby room, the small room, but um, I think I just put in my all-in-one bathrooms there for the most part. So I am now decorating the baby room. I was trying to figure out how to make the cribs all nice and different, but in the end, I think I just made them all the same. My favorite room by far that I decorated is the girls' room and the living room, but the upstairs, I left it completely the way that Gabby89 made it on Sims Resource, and oh, do I love it. I love it. Oh. So, you know, we're just putting in our walkers and our, as like I say, talkers. <laughs> uh, we're just, you know, doing our thing. Trying to make it a little bit more spacious and orderly. Just, you know, making it a little more colorful. Because before, our house was not colorful. It was black and white. And it wasn't nothing wrong with that. But I wanted to make it, you know, more lively. And a bit more spacious. This house is not, like, that much spacious. If you know what I'm trying to say. It's, you know, it's not bad. But it's definitely more than the other house, especially the kitchen area, which was unnecessary, <laughs> unnecessary renovate. But we just end up making all the cribs that color to kind of match the room. And uh, the the room looks pretty empty, but it is the baby room. It has to kind of have some have some room <laughs> so we can teach the kids and all that crap. And I was trying to find something, so I I think I just put a picture of puppies <laughs> on the top. There you go. And this big ass rug, which I love. But I think that's all I did for the baby room. And then I'm just saving here because I don't want to risk losing everything. It's the first time I saved. I didn't know if I wanted to save just in case I wanted to go back to the old house. But, you know, I had to save so I don't lose everything and everything else. Alright, so now I think I just went back into live mode, checked some stuff out. And then I made this a bathroom and bought another all-in-one bathroom because we had the money and why not? We could only have so many. And uh, now I'm doing the boys' room and I had, you know, it didn't have that many intentions on the boys' room. It's I don't have, like, boyish content, which is my problem. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't have any boyish content and... Mm, I don't know, like, you know, I have one boy custom content hair, but a thousand girl custom content hairs, you know. That's just how I am. But usually we have more boys than girls, generally, because I feel like, I don't know, I'm not sure, 100%, but I'm just doing this, trying to figure out where I can put these bunk beds so it doesn't look whack. Oh, there goes my microphone, falling yet again. But, uh, doing the covers, all this crap. But while I do this room, because nothing much to talk about, I want to say that this, yet again, is a renovate. I did not build this house. I will link this house in every video, just like I did before. This is mostly just me renovating it to my needs. It's not a let's build, it's a let's renovate, and I just... You know, I don't take credit for the build, but I take credit for the renovating, for the most part, at least. But here I was trying to put in some, like, sitting areas to play video games, but they could play video games downstairs. That's the thing. And um, that's why I kind of took them out and made some new beanbag chairs, which I freaking love. I think they're a staple thing of The Sims 3. Uh, let's talk about The Sims 4. I'm kind of not into The Sims 4. It's really starting to bug me that they don't have toddlers in the base game. Like, are they gonna come out as little kids, as, like, fetus babies, and then just age up into, like, children? That's annoying. 
And I think The Sims, like, EA, or, like, The Sims 3 needs, not The Sims 3, The Sims people need to realize they have to make something different out of these games because, um, The Sims 1, 2, and 3 are not all the same, but they have something different, and they have to bring something different to the table really soon before, you know, people stop playing because just because it's cooler or nicer pictures doesn't not going to make them buy it and I mean I'm going to be guilty and I'm going to buy it but I don't know I don't think I could play The Sims 3 for any longer I don't play current households I just do my let's plays but now that I have ranted a little bit the video is almost over and I was this is the top bedroom I love it it's beautiful I didn't even touch it I just put in like one thing and I'm just adding in some little details that I did not put in prior but I'm pretty much done with this little renovation thing for the most part. Just putting in all this crap. But I want to thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the house if you like it. Uh, that will be in the down bar. That And that will be the house that she built, that she renovated and stuff. It's This is mall. I don't have like this renovation up. But don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I really do love seeing comments, and I'm always at I'm, uh, I'm almost at 50 subscribers, which is insanity. I'm so excited to hit 50. I will cry at 100. Maybe I'll do something funny and cool. Uh, I'll probably do my sim self at 100. Just not like you know, just as a little celebration. But guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Like I said before, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you in the baby.